The documentations on Nasara were written in the late 1950s. And John F. Kennedy was the man that was going to implement it. I've been meaning to do this video for the longest time. I've been saving clips and historical data to show the truth behind Nasara and Jasara. I hope this video helps to clear up the lies and the bullshit that's been floating around ever since Shaney Candace Goodwin took over Nasara in the early 2000s and attached a boatload of fictitious lies to what was originally an interesting academic project by Harvey Barnard in order to help farmers like the Baskerville family maintain their farms that the governments were taking from them. But yeah, 20 years later, Nasara is coming. As you'll see, whoever this person is, is getting her information from the same bullshit artist who embellished all of the lies associated with Nasara and who ended up extorting money from her followers to support her new version of Nasara. The woman went by the name of Dove of Oneness, but her real name was Shaney Candace Goodwin. And then Goodwin had the audacity to say that Harvey Barnard's website was a sham and run by dark agenda stooges. In the meanwhile, she was still extorting money from her followers. And despite the bullshit about there being two different Nasaras, Goodwin was the one who changed the acronym from the National Economic Stabilization and Recovery Act to the National Economic Security and Reformation Act. The first and original version of Nasara was from Harvey Barnard. Harvey Barnard had a great heart and did this for selfless reasons. Not selfish, but selfless. However, Shaney Candace Goodwin's Nasara co-opted Barnard's work and added fictitious embellishments to it like abolishing the income tax, the IRS, etc. in order to gain followers and subsequently extort money from them in support of the lies that she added to Barnard's work. There's a video on YouTube called Changes on the Horizon, Part 3 of 3, The Farmer's Claims Program. And in the more info section, it's called The Birth of Nasara. This video is a great example of how info and disinfo are mixed together. It starts out with the truth of how Nasara was originally created to help the Baskervilles and their farming communities, but conveniently segues into the hot air and bullshit that Shaney Goodwin was pushing without any mention of her and her lies. I want the American people to know today that I am still committed to working with people of good faith and goodwill of both parties to do what's best for our country. Because President Clinton's clone had no interest in signing Nasara into law on October 10, 2000, under orders from U.S. military generals, the elite Naval SEALs and Delta Force stormed the White House and under gunpoint forced Bill Clinton to sign Nasara into law. During this time, Secret Service and White House security personnel were ordered to stand down, disarmed, and allowed to witness this event under a gag order. Most Nasaratards hide behind a fictitious gag order that no one can prove, including the ones lying about it. At least with the JFK files, we know that they exist and most of the info was redacted. None of this Nasara bullshit is provable, especially when all they have to do is claim there's a fictitious non-existent gag order to silence anyone who questions their bullshit. Minnesota Senator Paul Wellstone was about to break the gag order, but before he could, his small passenger plane crashed, killing his wife, daughter, and himself. Sure he was. How convenient. The video goes on to talk about 9-11 and pushes the narrative that Nasara was supposed to be announced on that day, a lie that continues to be perpetuated to this day. On September 10, 2001, George Bush Sr. moved into the White House to steer his son on how to block the announcement. 
The next day, on September 11, 2001, at 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Alan Greenspan was scheduled to announce the new U.S. Treasury Bank System, Debt Forgiveness for All U.S. Citizens, and Abolishment of the IRS, as the first part of the public announcements of NASARA. Just before the announcement at 9 a.m., Bush Sr. ordered the demolition of the World Trade Center to stop the international banking computers on floors 1 and 2 in the North Tower from initiating the new U.S. Treasury Bank System. Once again, how convenient. I wonder if the Nassaratars are going to use the pandemic as an excuse as to why it was never officially announced recently. They can use every world event as an excuse as to why Nassara wasn't officially announced. And they'll continue to do this for as long as you continue believing them. Much disinformation about Nassara can be found on the internet. Prominent naysayers include Quatluz.com, which is rumored to be a CIA front. Rumored? Yeah, right. That rumor was probably started by this idiot, or Shaney Goodwin. The left uses this tactic all the time. Russia, Russia, Russia. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Russia, Russia. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Russia. Russia. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Russia, Russia. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. What difference at this point does it make? Nasara.org, which is maintained by the Bush family. This is how lies don't age well with time. Yeah as if the Bush family doesn't have anything better to do with their time. And if you go to the nasara.org website, the actual website mentions nothing about Nasara. It's an Australian website that promotes education, but it's a good thing the Bush family is running it. Sherry Schreiner and various internet channelers receiving their messages from telepathic spooks have all contributed to the confusion. Even the information on Wikipedia is in error. Wikipedia gives you the history of CIA agent Harvey Bernard's Nassara Law. Once again, this is more disinfo. Harvey Bernard had nothing to do with the CIA, like this idiot is claiming. And while I don't trust Wikipedia on several issues, they do occasionally get things right. If you look closely, this law stands for the National Economic Stabilization and Recovery Act, which would have made reforms to the economy and replaced the income tax with a national sales tax. This law was rejected by Congress in the 1990s. But there's little mention of the National Economic Security and Reformation Act on Wikipedia or its ramifications. Why? Because Shaney Goodwin was the one who changed the acronym and added all the fictitious embellishments that we still hear to this day. This is a common tactic from the left. Accuse the right of what you're guilty of doing. Of course, there's little mention of it because it's all based on lies. Nassar implements the following changes. Zeroes out all credit card, mortgage, and other bank debt due to illegal banking and government activities. Enough of this goon. Let's let Santa Surfing continue regurgitating the same crap they've been pushing since the early 2000s. But Nasara was founded by farmers that had their properties illegally taken away from them in the 1970s. The farmers found a loophole with a really great attorney. The attorney found this loophole in the Americans 14th Amendment, Section 4, and it was about forgiveness of debt based on rebellion or insurrection, which would, in other words, mean corruption. So that's how it evolved. And then the, they, the farmers were awarded a multi-million dollar uh, settlement, if you will, but they had to sign an agreement. Bill Clinton came into office. He did not want to sign the Nassara law. He, but what he did instead, well, he did eventually, but at gunpoint. <laughs> but what he did is he said, okay, farmers, you can collect your $20 million, but you have to pay X number of hundreds of dollars in order to apply for that. And a lot of farmers were just dead broke. They didn't even have $300. So they couldn't get their $20 million. So now here we are, fast forward. Bill Clinton ended up signing Nassara into law. Um, but what it is, is it's about debt forgiveness, it's about, it's about getting rid of the income tax, it's, it's about prosperity. Um, we don't know exactly what that plan looks like. It's about constitutional law, a new government, uh, meaning a constitutional government. 
um, attorneys and judges will have to be completely retrained. Good Lord, how gullible do you have to be to believe any of this bullshit? It's about titles of nobility. It's about bad people being kicked off our country, out of our country. Hopefully they don't end up in England uh, or in U the UK, Chris, but they'll be kicked off our island and pretty much exiled. They'll never be re able to return back to our country, um, to America. It's about um, cures. So there's like 6,000 patents of cures and also about the release of the patents for technologies. Free energy, uh, about energy, reduced cost. These people are saying free energy. I'm saying reduced cost of energy. Um, so it's about health. It's about hum mainly the big, big part is the humanitarian project. It's about humanity. And that's all the same bullshit that was being pushed in the early 2000s by Shaney Goodwin. Harvey Bernard's Nassara didn't mention anything about the lies and bullshit that we're hearing today. Shaney Goodwin co-opted Harvey Bernard's Nassara and turned it into the shit fest that we see today. And that's why it'll never come to fruition. Because it's all based on lies and lies go against universal laws. Is it possible that some other prosperity program might arise to help people? Definitely. Almost anything is possible except the fictitious Nasara. Back in 2004, before most people ever heard of Nasara, Sean Robinson did a deep dive into Nasara, Harvey Bernard, and Shaney Candace Goodwin who, as we mentioned, was known as the Dove of Oneness, who embellished what Nasara originally stood for in Harvey Barnard's academic exercise and turned it into a plethora of lies spewed to this day by Charlie Ward, Santa Surfing, and everyone else who's parroting the Nasara bullshit. Now, there's a video of the con artist herself, the woman who went by the name of the Dove of Oneness, Shani Goodwin, who gave herself the title of being the executive director of Nasara. Hi, my name is Shani Goodwin. That's my personal name. Most of you know me as Dove of Oneness on the internet. Here is Shani Goodwin being asked for proof of the Nasara document that Congress allegedly signed. Yes. Uh, the document that Congress was forced to sign in March of 2000, uh, does anyone have a copy of that? No, of course not. It's under gag order. No, of course not. It's under gag order. No, of course not. It's under gag order. And that's what we will continue to hear from these bullshit artists. They hide behind a line that no one can prove by saying there's a gag order that prevents anyone from talking about it. Ask Charlie Ward about that. No, of course not. It's under gag order. The same as the court records. Those are sealed. They, everything, and it, they weren't forced to sign it. These were sponsors and co-sponsors of Nasara who were taken in on a quorum call and they voted for and passed Nasara. Do you notice how Shaney Goodwin, when she talks, she nods her head? Car salesmen do this. Nice day out today, huh? It's a good looking car, huh? They want you nodding your head to agree. It's part of neuro-linguistic programming. In this clip, Goodwin talks about the Omega Trust to which she linked with Nasara. Some of you were reading the Dove reports before I started writing about Nasara, and I was writing about something called Omega, a prosperity program. And that's another big secret that our bankers and our governments keep from us. So I have known about this for a long time and I've had my in intelligence people confirm this is real. And what better way to get Nassara funded than to use the European bankers own trading program to make the money to get the gold for Nassara. Goodwin began commenting on Nassara in connection with Omega Trust which turned out to be a fraudulent investment scheme by Clyde Hood, who pled guilty to charges stemming from the scheme and admitted that Omega investors could never have received the profits that they had been promised. 
we want to be a joint venture with an investor so that Nassara gets half the proceeds and the investor gets half the proceeds. And I have an international business corporation set up for Nassara, and someday I'll tell you the name of it and you'll love it. But anyway, it's appropriate. Now what I need from you is some help on finding people with funds. And they can be just straight business, a huge return. You know, 2000 a year when we're doing a joint venture, it, you can't find that anyplace else. And then they can still work with our trader on other trades if they want to. But we need this for Nassara. And so that's an investment opportunity. If they care about the country, then they can also support Nassara this way. Once an investor agrees to work with us and can liquidate or put, have 300 or 500 or a billion or whatever in a bank account, then we can give a tear sheet to our leader, to our trader, who is actually the person that then moves the whole process forward. And we can do a joint venture agreement with the investor, and a trade can get going in somewhere around 10 days, 10 ba business days. We can have a trade going. And it is possible to get this done, to get Nassara done this year, but it's a push. It's a push. So we need your help. Yeah, we need your help, suckas. According to Goodwin, Omega Trust investors would receive their returns after Nassara was announced. Do you see this scam and how she was extorting money? Goodwin repeatedly predicted that the Nassara announcement would occur in the very near future. Interestingly, Santa Surfing hasn't posted anything about Nasara on her Telegram page since the end of last year. Maybe she's sick of her own bullshit, but that was too good to be true because she's still pushing the bullshit on her website. Jordan Sather has a substack where he lists a bunch of Nasara pushers, including Phil Godlewski, Will Trump return in January of 22? Yes. <laughs> Do we expect to see Nasara in January? Yes. <laughs> Some fictitious clown that goes by the name of Ariel. Dr. Charlie Ward. Nicholas Veneman. There will be no Federal Reserve. Um, we would have our debt forgiveness due to banking, uh, Ill illegal banking activities. It would be against the law for countries to go to war. Simon Parks, Michael Jaco. President's Day weekend and uh, the banks are closed for three days. <clears throat> and what happens when the banks are closed for a period of time like that? They're going to find out that maybe uh, on the other side of this, uh, is Nasara. So someone shared that with me earlier today and I started looking into that and I'm like, ooh, it looks like Nasara might be coming in on Tuesday. Santa Surfing, SG Anon, aka Stephen Harvey, and the Telegram channels known as Whiplash 347 and Quantum Stellar Initiative. Through one of her Dove of Oneness reports, she claimed that the Bush administration was responsible for the 9-11 attacks and the East Coast sniper slayings to prevent Nassara's announcement. Yeah, how convenient. And that's also one of the lies that's still being perpetuated today. This is some of the bullshit from 2005, over 20 years later. Does any of it sound familiar? This was shared from 
you know, uh, many different sources after we started reporting about it, but about forgiving credit card, mortgage, and other bank debts, abolishes income tax, abolishes the IRS. I'm kind of giving you a brief read on this. Increased benefits to senior citizens, returns constitutional law, establishes new presidential and congressional elections. Uh, I'm going to take out the 120 days. I, 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 that's for another discussion. Um, monitors elections and prevents illegal election activities or special interest groups. Creates new U.S. Treasury currency, rainbow currency backed by gold, silver, platinum, precious metal. And by now you've all heard and seen this fictitious rainbow currency. What you're looking at is this rainbow currency created in 2018 and is from an art project called American Money Reimagined by Troy Turner. Six years later. Two thousand years later. One eternity later. People are still posting the same disinfo bullshit and many Nasaratards are claiming it's the new Nasaro rainbow currency when it's really just artwork. Returns constitutional law to all our courts and legal matters. Just because you talk like this doesn't mean it's the truth. Initiates new U.S. Treasury bank system in alignment with constitutional law. Eliminates the Federal Reserve System. Restores financial privacy. Retrains, retrains all judges and attorneys in constitutional law. Seizes all aggressive U.S. government military actions worldwide. Establishes peace throughout the world. Releases enormous sums of money for humanitarian purposes. Enables the release of new technologies such as alternative energy devices. Um, because it was never announced and it was intended to be announced on September 11th of 2001. And again, the Bush family prevented the rollout. Yeah, sure. Zero proof and over 20 years later, still nothing. It was never announced and instead what they decided to do was create a mass a massacre of 9-11. But those that have followed Nasara, uh, Nasara Jasara, which is global, and we've coined it as Trump Sara, but- Trump Sara, Brick Sara, or as I coined it, Tard Sara. It's probably more relevant as Brixara. Um, we're beginning to see the rollout happen. So today, Nasara is explained, get this, on liberal Wikipedia. Nasara has not ever been explained on this publication resource in the past. And this bullshit about Wikipedia is another lie that I already shown you earlier in the video. But if you don't believe me, go to the 2832 marker of this video. Changes on the Horizon, Part 3 of 3, the Farmer Claims Program, and watch it again for yourself. So, Santa Surfing thinks you're an idiot who will believe anything in order to cash in on her Trump Sara hats that she's charging $39.95 a pop. It was never ever in the encyclopedia in this here, Wikipedia. <laughs> I call it liberal because they do slant left, um, but it was not ever explained until uh, I just looked today. Um, since the early 2000s, Nassar is best known for a subject of a cult-like conspiracy theory whose promoter was internet personality Goodwin, um, also known as Dove of Oneness. Now that's where a lot of the initial content came from. No, that's where virtually all of the hot air and bullshit that we hear today came from. And it has nothing to do with the Baskerville farmers for whom Harvey Bernard wrote this Nassara academic exercise for. I've already proven how Goodwin used the Omega Trust in conjunction with Nassara to extort people of their money. And this is the woman that all the other Nassara pushers are relying upon for their information. Give me a fucking break. And this is exactly why Nassara or Jasara will never come to fruition. Because they're based on lies which go against universal laws. And I hate to say it, but anyone who invests money into this or supports the lies of Nasara will get exactly what they deserve. Nothing can stand in the vibration of truth, love, and light when it's based on lies. Isn't that right, Charlie? Santa? Bueller? Bueller? And I'll tell you, anyone using real raw news or the People's Voice TV as their source for news is pushing a shitload of disinfo. 
The following story by Charlie Ward should be prefaced by saying, once upon a time. The documentations on Nassara were written in the late 1950s. And John F. Kennedy was the man that was going to implement them. And we'll see it very gradually. The quantum financial system is the operating system. Well, first off, AI doesn't recognize any quantum financial system, Charlie. And the only currencies that can be entered into the quantum system are gold-backed currencies. So by default, the quantum system becomes gold-backed because everything that's connected to it has to be gold-backed. Now, as we sit here today, we already know that BRICS has gone gold-backed. So check it out for yourself if you don't believe me. BRICS is not backed by gold. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, along with Argentina, Saudi Arabia, and a couple of others, which I'll come on to at the moment, already have currencies gold backed. No, there are no currencies backed by gold as of today. First of all, let's get one thing very, very clear that every country in the world, bar none, and every territory, bar none, has signed up to Jasara outside of America. No, that's hot air and bullshit. The first time that Nassara, the, doc the documentations on Nassara were written in the late 1950s. Some people believe that when you touch your nose, that that's a sign of lying. The documentations on Nassara were written in the late 1950s. So before I was born, I was born in 1960. And they were going to be implemented in 1963, I think it was. Yeah, 1963 for the first time. And John F. Kennedy was the man that was going to implement them. You'll find nothing about Nassara on the internet until 2000 or so when Harvey Bernard's Nassara website went live. Shortly after Bernard's death in 2005, Shania Candace Goodwin used Nassara as a ploy to extort money from unsuspecting victims by making the same outrageous promises of Nassara Jasara that we hear to this day. And then the second time that Nassara was going to be launched was 19 years ago on September the 11th. The origins of Nassara are from the late 1980s and I've proven that with tangible evidence. Charlie Ward, however, cannot prove his bullshit about it originating in the late 1950s. And I've already shown a number of lies that he's been feeding the masses. So why would you believe anything he says now? I sure as fuck don't. Use your minds to question everything, even what I'm putting out in this video, despite the mounds of evidence proving that what I'm saying is the truth. And hypothetically, if what Charlie Ward was saying about Nassara originating in the late 1950s is true, then that makes it even worse. That means people have been waiting over 60 years for something that still hasn't come to fruition. It's bad enough for those believers who have been waiting since the late 1980s, a mere 30 some odd years later with the same bullshit lies being pushed by a new group of parroting echo chambers. I think Santa surfing Sammy the squirrel mascot should be changed to Sammy the parroting parrot. 20 some odd years ago when I first heard of Nasara, I wanted to believe it was true. But it's bullshit that's still being used to take money from unsuspecting victims, but in different ways this time around. Please know that the only reason I made this video was to expose the truth. And I do it with love and compassion for all who have been tricked by these grifters. As badly as I've been shadow banned, I have nothing to gain but having a clear conscience, knowing that I stood in the vibration of truth, love, and light by exposing the unpleasant truths about Nasara. And by the way, feel free to share and mirror this video on your channel. Until the next time, I'm Greg from n5d.com, n5d.net, and Zentasia.com, sending you all infinite love and light from my heart to yours. Take care, everyone.